Hey guys, I'm back again. I'm going to do a very quick video. I'm going to be changing a keyboard on this uh, Acer 5517. It belongs to my sister and my niece. She got a hold of it and she uh, destroyed all the letters. As you can see, they're all missing. Uh, I get letters one by one, but it's not worth it because it's so many. So we decided to go on eBay and I got myself a new keyboard. Uh, original replacement for about $25. Uh, you can also get it at Amazon.com. This one I paid $24.99 free shipping. If you order Amazon, you might get hit with shipping. Uh, and again, it's an exact replacement. First of all, if you're plugged in, you have to unplug it uh, so there's no power to it. And you must remove the battery pack to prevent any damage as far as uh, electricity goes. You might want to short it or anything like that in that nature. So we'll take this out. And uh, to remove this keyboard, you don't need no special tools or anything. Uh, a plastic knife will be sufficient. Uh, this is a regular plastic knife you use it for picking the thing or you can do McDonald's, Wendy's, whatever, any kind of restaurant or fast food. And basically you take off the first top cover off and then you should have access to the keyboard and just pop it out and disconnect the connector. And then you reverse the process and put it back on. So right here by the astrical, you should put the knife inside and gently Pull it up, you know, here made my hair pop, I'm not sure. Let's see. This, this should be a stronger knife, this is too weak. But it's what I got right now. There you go, and then you go around it. There you go, and you gently take this out. Now, towards the middle of the keyboard. You're going to stick this in there and pop it up. And you'll see your cable, so you uh, gently disconnect the ribbon. Slide in the black little locking bar. So it can release the pressure off your ribbon. The new keyboard is the exact replacement. Uh, oh. Alright, so take your keyboard, do your ribbon with the strips facing up, which are the wires, you slide it back in. You shoot your little blocking bars back, all the way back. Once it's in, all the way in, you lock it in place. And reverse process your insulation. You slide it in, make sure you catch your bottom groove in the slots, and then you just Pop them in, you can get a pop there. Then you take your bezel, top cover, whatever you want to call it, and we'll pop it in. That's it. And that's how you replace the keyboard. As easy as one, two, three. You take it to a store, they'll probably charge you sixty or eighty dollars to do this. You can buy it yourself for 25 and do it yourself within minutes. Once again, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and favorite this video.